On this episode of Motivate's Do-It-Yourself Garage, we're going to show you the three quick and easy things you must do after cleaning your throttle body. After you clean a dirty throttle body, there is a good chance your idle will be higher than it should be. And here's why. Over time, carbon will build up around the edges of the throttle plate due to how the positive crankcase ventilation system works. This is normal. To compensate for carbon buildup, the NG computer will slightly open the throttle. When all of the carbon buildup is removed, more air passes through resulting in a higher idle. Now, you may think the NG computer will eventually adjust it back to a proper idle, but it doesn't. To fix this, there are three simple procedures you need to do after cleaning the throttle bodies. The first procedure we need to do is the accelerator pedal released position learning. So to do that, we make sure the accelerator pedal is fully released. And turn it on for at least two seconds. And we turn it off for at least 10 seconds. And turn it back on for at least two seconds. And we turn it off for at least 10 seconds. And that is how you do the accelerator pedal released position learning. The second procedure we need to do is the throttle valve closed position learning. Now, in order for this procedure to work, the engine coolant temperature must be less than 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. An easy way to verify this is to use an inexpensive OBD scanner and a phone app like OBD Fusion. Or let the car sit all night, assuming the overnight temperature is low enough. Start the car and let it warm up to at least 65 degrees Celsius or 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, you can use an OBD scanner and app to check the temperature or just wait until the temperature gauge is at the normal position, which is just below the middle between hot and cold. With the engine coolant at the proper temperature, we simply turn off the car. The throttle bodies will make a clicking sound this indicates the procedure has successfully run. The third and final procedure is the idle air volume learning. The NG computer is placed into a special mode where it learns how much air is needed for the correct idle of 600 to 700 RPM. This procedure can be a little tricky to get it to run, but if you follow all of the steps, you won't have a problem. Step one, go for a 10 minute drive. This will ensure the engine and transmission are at an operating temperature somewhere between 70 to 105 degrees Celsius or 158 to 221 Fahrenheit. If the engine coolant temperature is below that, the idle air volume learning procedure won't run. With the car running, make sure the battery voltage is 12.9 volts or more. If you don't have a voltmeter and your battery is less than four to five years old, I think you can safely assume the battery voltage is okay. Make sure the car is in park or neutral with the steering wheel in the straight ahead position. The final step is to reduce the electrical load as much as possible. Turn off the climate control, turn off the radio, turn off the screen. Also, if you have daytime running lights, the parking brake must be on when you start the car to prevent them from turning on. At this point, we are now ready to start the idle air volume learning procedure. Make sure the ignition switch has been off for at least 10 seconds. Confirm the accelerator pedal is fully released. Turn the ignition to on and wait three seconds. Fully depress and release the accelerator pedal five times within five seconds. Then wait seven seconds. Then depress the accelerator pedal. The service engine soon light will start to flash. After about 20 seconds, it will stop flashing and stay on. Release the accelerator pedal within three seconds of the light staying on. Start the engine and let it idle for at least 20 seconds. Turn off the engine. As a final check, start the engine and let it idle for about 20 seconds. 
Rev the engine two to three times to make sure it returns to a proper idle somewhere between 600 to 700 RPM. If you followed all of these steps, your idle is now back to normal. All right, so let's wrap up this episode. But before I do that, I want to mention two things. When you're cleaning the throttle body, there is no need to remove it from the intake manifold. And it is completely safe to move the throttle valve. As long as these three procedures are done, your idle will be back to normal. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.